Welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Precious and I'm with my friend here. Say hello. The theme for this week is public transport. And before we begin, let us sanitize our hands. Let's rub our hands. And let's spread out. You spread out your hands so that they don't touch the person next to you. And you also do it in front as well. Remember to social distance and to wear your mask every time you go out. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about problem solving, fractions, addition and subtraction, and data handling. Let's now turn to page 9, where we are going to talk about problem solving, or we call them number stories. We have a story of our three classmates. We have Maylin, we have Nini, we have Romeo. Let's read the story. Marilyn, Nini, and Romeo are keeping score of the game they are playing. When a player wins a game, that player gets five points, which means plus five points. Okay, if a player loses a game, we write lose or loses, the player has three points taken away, which means minus three points. If it's a tie, a tie means they have they have the same score. Maybe it's one, one, or two, two. If it's a tie, each player gets two points. So it's plus two points. Okay. Let's now check our questions. We are going to do number one and two. What does number one say? Each of them has 20 points to start with, which means Marilyn, 20, Nini, 20, Romeo, 20. How many points do they have in total? It means 20 plus 20 plus 20. Okay, this is how we are going to do number one. Let's now check number two. Maylin wins the first game. Maylin wins the first game. How many points? does Maylin have after the first game? We said a win is five points. So Marilyn will get five points. I now want you to do number three, four, five, and six, following what I was doing here. Thank you very much, great twos. Let's now turn to page 10, where we are going to talk about fractions. And our first lesson is on the fraction chart. 
This is our fraction chart, and on this chart, we are going to learn to name the fractions. We have our first part here, which is not divided. It's written one over one, but we call it one whole. The second one is a half. Then we have a third. You must know how to call these fractions well. We also have a quarter. One over five, we call it a fifth. Then we have a sixth, eighth, and tenth. That's all about the fraction chart. You must also try to draw it grade twos, okay? And grade threes, you can use it for your revision. You can also draw it. Let's now turn to page 11, where we are going to color the fractions. I have my picture here. It's a pizza. This is a pizza. So we want to color 1 over 4, which means my friend here will eat one part, this one part out of the 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't say 1 over 3. We say 1 out of 4. So we want to color 1 over 4. So this is what we do. So like this, it will be 1 over 4. Let me do another example again. 2 over 4. It means we can also color here. Which means two pieces of pizza out of one, two, three, four pieces. Okay. That's all. I want you to do the rest. You draw a circle. You show me the number of parts. If there are two out of five, it means there must be another one here. Then you color the number on top. Two out of five. Okay. Now, let's move on to page 12, where we are going to do a comparison of fractions, grade threes, or we say we are going to compare fractions using greater than, less than, or equal to. Okay. Let me give an example. We have two out of four. Then we have three out of four. Okay. We want to see who is going to eat the bigger piece of pizza. So we color one, two. This one is one, two pieces. And this one. Okay, so this one will eat the two pieces and the other one will eat the three pieces. So which one is bigger? Which one will get the bigger piece? So three over four is the biggest. Okay, we now move on to the next example. We have our pizza here. My friend will eat two pieces out of four. Okay. Then this pizza is cut into eight pieces. And I'll eat four pieces. Okay. I can change, I can ch choose.
Okay. Or let me draw it again and do it on the same side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there are eight. If I shed you see the four pieces will give us the same size as this side. So it's equal. Okay. Thank you very much. That's all about fractions for today. Let's now move on to page three, where we are going to do addition and subtraction of numbers using the number line. Okay. I have my number line here on the board. And we are going to start by subtracting numbers. And I'll do with you the first one and the second one only. So our first sum is 17 minus 2. So we go to 17. Then we count 1, 2. So 17 minus 2 equals to 15. Okay. Let me try 12 minus 6. We come to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our answer, 12 minus 6 equals to 6. So you do the rest on your own. We are now moving on to addition of numbers using our number line. Okay. Our first question is 3 plus 7. Okay. So we go to 3. Plus, we are adding, we are going forward, okay? One, two, okay. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So, 3 plus 17 equals to 20. Okay. Let me do one more. We can take here 9 plus 9. Okay. We go to the number 9 here. This is number 9. And we add 9 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the answer is 18. 9 plus 9 equals to 18. That's all about addition and subtraction of numbers using the number line grade 2s and grade 3s Remember to follow for your revision purposes. Thank you very much. Let's now turn to page 14, where we are going to talk about data handling. Okay. I have a picture on the board. And we want to start by naming the graph. Today, what we are going to use is called a bar graph. This is a bar graph. 
and we are going to draw the bars from the story which is given here. Let's read the story, and while we are reading, we'll be drawing the graph. During the holidays last summer, while traveling across Namibia with a bus, a bus, which means one bus. So this is what we do, grade twos. We come to bus and we draw a line, okay? Then we join. Okay. I came across seven cars at the roadblock uh, between Winduk and Okahanja. How many cars? Seven cars. So we look for cars here. This is cars. How many cars? Seven. We come here, we draw our bar. Okay. When we reach the coastal town uh, at Welvis Bay, I saw three boats anchored at the harbor. How many boats? Three boats. Okay, we go to boats. We draw the bar. Okay. And I, I saw also two planes flying above. How many planes? Two planes, the aeroplanes. Two planes, okay. After the holiday, I took a train back to Vinduk. So it's one train. We come here again and we draw the bar. This is how you draw the bar graph. Then if you want, you can color or you can make lines. You can do the same to all of them. And that's how we do the bar graph. That's all for today's lesson, grade twos. Thank you. Let's now turn uh, to page 15, where we are going to do bridging. And our question is, complete the following sums, make the 10 to add. Bridging means finding the missing number. Okay. I'm going to do an example with you. We have 9 plus 7 equals 2. Then we have a box. And we have two circles, okay. First, we want to add nine and seven. Nine plus seven equals to 16, okay. Now, we'll take the six and put it here, okay. Then, to get this number, we are going to subtract 7 minus 6, and we get 1, okay? We come to the next stage where we now want to find the 10. 9 plus 1 equals to 10. 
plus we now bring down this six. Okay, so it will be 10 plus six equals to 16. Okay, now I want you to follow my example and the examples given in our booklet to do the other sums. Thank you so much, grade twos and grade threes. Remember to keep on revising. Thank you very much for today's lesson. And uh, before we leave, I would like to remind you to always sanitize. And remember to spread out your hands so that you don't touch the person next to you and you also do it in front as well. Okay, remember to social distance and every time you go out, remember to wear your mask. Okay, before we move on to the next lesson, Let's call our friend Zoshi to say bye. What is social distancing? Hi everyone, I am Zoshi and I am back. It literally just means that you need to stay home all the time and keep away from crowded places. And remember to keep your distance from your friends too. Everybody stay safe. Yay! Till next time. Bye!